Good morning, this is Josh Bumgartner, Senior VP of Strategy at the Greater Tampa Chamber of Commerce. I wanna thank the viewers for tuning in to our 2018 uh, candidate uh, election series, um, interview series. At the Chamber, our mission is to serve our members and enhance our community by building business success. Um, the key partners in helping to build that business success are our elected officials. And that's why we're so excited to be embarking on this process and while we're excited to have Kimberly Overman joining us today, Kimberly's running for County Commission District 7 at large. Kim, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So we're going to get started in a little bit with our specific questions, but I wanted to give you the opportunity to, to give the viewers a snapshot of, of your campaign and tell us why you're running. Well, I am running because I believe that there's an opportunity for government to catch up with small businesses and our business community. I have been living here for 34 years, own two businesses, and have actually been very much part of the business community in my previous role as a chamber president for the Heights Urban Core Chamber, which we re renovated and, and revitalized about four or five years ago. The good news is in the work that I've done, not only as a citizen on transportation area issues, but also worked with the City of Tampa's Budget and Finance Committee as a Citizens Advisory Committee member, as well as the MPO currently, um, I think that I'm well suited for being able to address the concerns of the Hillsborough County in general. I also know that we haven't moved the needle on some areas and sitting in the audience was getting a little frustrating. So I thought that I, uh, because I actually really appreciate being able to get things done, I'm looking forward to having an opportunity to doing just exactly that. Great, well thanks for that. And you know, with your background in the CAC and the NPO and obviously in, in the small business realm, you know that transportation is, is um, an important uh, issue for the business community. The Greater Tampa Chamber of Commerce um, actually earlier uh, this year took a position in support of a catalyst project, which is bus rapid transit, uh, connecting the three counties, but obviously running through much of Hillsborough County. Do you support um, bus rapid transit as the catalyst project? I support bus rapid transit, but it needs to be a rapid, rapid transit. I read through the proposal in the RFP when it was initially um, put out to the contractors that are working on the, that study. Um, have attended many of those meetings to make sure that I'm clear on what we're trying to accomplish. Um, my concern is, is that uh, whether or not the monies are going towards actually creating rapid transit versus creating a lot of infrastructure that necess doesn't necessarily add service to the citizens that need to get from point A to point B. So I think refocusing on making sure that the actual buses are rapid, I think is the most important part of that study. And when we look at the outcome, if that is the outcome, then I'm absolutely for it. Great. Sticking with transportation for a little bit, as I'm sure you're aware, there's a, a grassroots movement happening in Hillsborough County to get a um, one cent sales tax on the ballot in November uh, to fund transit and, and transportation initiatives. Do you support that uh, initiative? It's interesting. I, I just caught up with it, what everybody else did. And the, um, I, I think the reason that's coming forward is because we haven't moved the needle. And when we look at the transportation improvement plans and the various different plans that the MPO, as well as Hillsborough County has put forward, we've found that there's not enough investment in the actual infrastructure of helping people get around Hillsborough County. Um, if it takes a, a one cent uh, initiative to get a 45% of that to go towards expanding bus service all over Hillsborough County so that people can get around, then I'm very much for it. I, I do think it's gonna be challenging. It's getting a lot of signatures in a very short period of time, and we do have other initiatives, but. If this is a way that we can move the needle and get people around Hillsborough County fairly, uh, I think it's worth the try. You mentioned other important initiatives and I want to um, pivot to uh, education. K-12 here in Hills Hillsborough County has had some recent successes in the last couple of years, but also has some mounting challenges as we look to the future with uh, population increases um, uh, on the horizon in Hillsborough County. Mm -hmm. How would you, if elected, work with our school board and our um, superintendent's office to make sure that the business community uh, is prepared and has that next generation of talent um, in, our, in our school systems? Actually, I've been talking about that for about 20 years. 
when I worked with the Hillsborough Education Foundation and community and schools at the time, I was great, and it was a long, long time ago, uh, I was greatly concerned about the fact that we were not investing in our children in such a way that private enterprise is now going to have to do all of our training, which we're seeing some of those programs now having to be funded to do just that. There are resources within, within the county budget that could be allocated towards the infrastructure associated with our schools so that more of the monies that are dedicated within the school revenues to actually educating our children, which be, would be very much important. I think it's very difficult to uh, expect our teachers, as hard as they work, to try and do everything that they need to do without the support and the infrastructure that they need. So looking for, for smart ways to allocate resources to support our education, I think is, is part of it. Maybe CIT funds. Um, I haven't fully investigated that, but I think there are creative ways to partner with the school board to make sure that they have what they need. Having ACs in schools is not acceptable. And not in Florida, anyway. <laughs> not in Florida, certainly. Uh, switching gears, I want to talk raise baseball. If elected, you'd be on a county commission that would have a pretty big decision when it comes to the Ebor location for a stadium. So two-part question, A, do you support that site in Ebor for a potential future ballpark? And if so, uh, what financing uh, model would you support um, in, in having that ballpark located in Ebor? You know, it's a tough, tough subject. Um, I haven't been going to raise games because I can't sit in a baseball field for four hours and drink a beer or two and then expect to drive safely back when we have no way of getting there any other way but a car. So I, you know, the effort to move it here to create a better ridership is gonna be important. Without having an infrastructure to be able to serve that specific location already in the works or part of the deal, I don't see it really working well. We find ourselves in the very same position that St. Petersburg is in now. So I am for the project in the sense of bringing an opportunity where there is some collaboration with transportation access. Um, and I do believe private enterprise has to pay for it. So we've talked the Rays ballpark, we've talked transportation and education. The funding pie is only so big to um, fund all these projects and all the needs that this county has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How would you prioritize um, those three things? Or maybe it's something that we haven't talked about. Um, what would be your priority? What are you running on as the number one thing that we need to support in, in Hillsborough County? I think the number one issue is in fact transportation. By opening up opportunities for people to actually be fully employed in Hillsborough County, if you don't have a car in Hillsborough County, you're not fully employed it's just not possible for you to actually get to work. And I think if we start there, we help not only communities that want to take care of themselves, that can afford affordable housing. Um, it, it's, I think that's our critical issue. And it has to be where it actually provides workforce access to not only the citizens of Hillsborough County, but also to the businesses. You know, when you're interviewing an employee that lives on the other side of this county, and they turn down the job that you really want to hire them for because they can't get there or they're not willing to sit in the congestion it takes to get there because we haven't invested in our infrastructure and we haven't followed our comp comprehensive planning and sprawled all over the county instead of actually creating the density that would help us justify investing in transit, our policies are backwards. And I think that's the most important part is that we get with a comprehensive plan that partners with citizens and businesses to create an opportunity for everyone to succeed. Great. Well, Kimberly, I want to thank you for joining us and also I want to thank you for, for uh, your willingness to run for office and, and seek uh, a county commission seat. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity to speak with you today. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Oh, and vote for Kim. <laughs> thank you.